Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here. And today we're going to take a look at the beautiful high resolution model, God Gundam. Now this thing here, my boys, oh my god. I was, I was just mesmerized during the unboxing. But having it fully built, and I kind of messed with it, uh, you know, I put the effect parts and everything on it, put in some, you know, really cool looking poses. And the entire time, I was like, this is, this is what all this, you know, is coming to it's just this is now the hallmark of my entire collection i i love it i love everything about it i love the way it looks i love the way it feels couple maybe one or two issues i have with it very minor uh but for the most part this thing is it is a beauty in every single way shape or form and i know some people i've already seen some of the comments y'all like it's too bulky for my taste or it's too high in price or I don't like God Gundam. I get it, you know. I, I, everyone has their personal taste. But me, I love God Gundam. I hate the show. I love God Gundam. Um, I think the price is actually perfect. Um, I even I would even say if it was higher, if it was like around like fifteen, you know, well, uh, one hundred and fifty dollars, um, I probably would have still picked it up. The price point to me is almost irrelevant to this beauty i i just i have to have it and i'm so glad i do um and the beefiness you know what i think it looks fine i i, I think the beefy proportions actually adds to the character of this mobile suit and kind of makes a little bit sense um but yeah let's go ahead and start taking a look at the kit itself now, if you want this kit or more, you can go to NewTypeHQ.com and enter that promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off your purchase. Now, I know they don't have the pre-orders up right now, but I would say, you know, email them or hover around the website, you know, subscribe to their newsletter, and then once those uh, pre-orders or even just the order comes up, then you can go ahead and pick it up. But on to the review. So starting with the details, the head unit is looking really solid. It is going to have multi different colors in there. So you're going to have like your kind of grayish color right here on the sides and then your white right here on the top. Uh, the yellow looks good as well. No you know, it, you know, concerning issues with those whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good. Pretty happy with the uh, the overall level of detail. Nothing, no gimmicks or anything crazy with it. It is just a very good looking sculpt. Now we're looking at the body, the level of detail is going to be amazing. And you're also going to notice that throughout the entire kit is just going to be just this super high gloss, which I absolutely love. Uh, I know some people probably are going to want their god gun to be a little bit more dull and probably a little bit more worn out since it is a melee oriented fighting suit. Uh, but I do like the glossy look of it as well. And I normally don't have glossy kits in my collection whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, the body is looking super solid. I love everything about it. Now it is going to have the uh, crest right inside here. So this part opens up. And it's going to reveal that King of Hearts right there. So looking all kinds of beautiful. And it's pretty much the closest my camera is going to allow without getting super blurry. And you're also going to have the Vulcans right here on the shoulders. The shoulders are really also going to have this nice design to it. Uh, I just love how they have like on the black here all like the different lining. Um, you have the connected parts right here for the red to break up that black. I think it looks pretty good. And moving down to the arm, the arm is just going to be really bulky. I mean, this thing is is beefcaking. That's <laughs> that's the best way I could say. It. It's just a very beefcaky arm for a mobile suit. It, it just it's beautiful. And the gauntlet here is going to have some nice detail and once again super glossy. Moving on to the waist, nothing really too special. I mean, it looks good. Uh, that definitely is a fact. Uh, but yeah, nothing really too stand out. No gimmicks or anything. It just uh, the only thing I would say is whenever I get to articulation, the front skirts are pretty lackluster and you gotta kind of mess with it in order to get it to the right angles. Uh, but I mean, they look good. The side skirts are fairly plain uh, with that all white, but everything is you know, still looking pretty solid and really nice. Now with the legs, this is probably one of the most uh, controversial parts about this kit is the fact that it's fairly bulky and I personally don't think it is, but a lot of people were really upset about it because they were like, oh, it looks too big, it's, it looks weird. Um, honestly, I'm fine with it. I don't think it really looks that big. Uh, and you know, w once you actually have it in hand, I think it's pretty decently sized. Um, but yeah, I mean, they look good, have some good panel lining opportunities, some good level of detail. The feet are pretty cool as well. Now underneath the feet is where it gets kind of interesting. 
Now here you're gonna have some of this kind of like friction tape. Uh, I don't really know exactly what the fabric is, but you are gonna get an extra strip just in case, uh, but you're gonna have one strip that's gonna be for both legs, and you're just gonna put them right here at the heel and at the front toes. Uh, now this is gonna be die cast metal, so it's gonna add a little bit of weight, but this is just to help with the overall posing. And we're looking at the core fighter, nothing really too spectacular here. It's it's fairly normal. It doesn't have any like crazy designs or anything. It's not really wild. It's just a super high glossy uh, core fighter. But yeah, the uh, cockpit right here, the front glass, that's going to be green. So that's actually pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's really it. And of course, you can just dock this by swinging this forward, and you just place it right there in the middle of the back. Now for articulation, the head is going to have two different ball joints, one side the neck right there and one kind of more towards the torso, uh, but you are going to have a great range of movement. Now for the body, you are going to be able to get a good, good ab crunch, uh, pretty much about that far. I had to take the core fire out just that way you could see, but man, this, oh my god, this range of movement, it's, it's pretty much on par with, um, look at that. It's pretty much going to be on par with the Red Frame Astray, but it's just going to have incredible movement. I mean, the one thing that kind of sucks is like, yeah, you're going to be able to see straight through it if you kind of like really elongate it. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to be really solid to, uh, to kind of like move around. And then it's also going to be able to twist and turn. The shoulders move forward. Now this whole shoulder section can actually move forward like so. The arm can move up about that far. I really don't want to risk it, even if this joint can move up. Um, I can't see it within the manual, but I don't want to risk breaking anything like that. The shoulder itself can move up and down, and it's going to have a good rotation. This shoulder piece can move back and forth, and the joint right inside here can actually move up and down, but like I said, I, don't want to, I really don't want to risk uh, breaking anything inside there. And the bicep can move back and forth. Two points of articulation right here in the elbow. I'm going to give you about that far coverage. The forearm can also move. And this gauntlet piece right here, this, or the sleeve, this can also move, but it becomes a little troublesome. The wrist is going to have a ball joint that connects to the arm, and it's also going to have this uh, kind of like a little rotation gimmick right here, so that way this can move all the way around and then this can also move inside the hand so you're going to have about three different points of articulation with just the wrist and then the thumb is going to be on a ball joint but it's going to have a couple of hinges one right inside there and one at the tip of the thumb so you're going to have some little range of movement and the front skirts is going to be on a ball joint and basically can just move all around side skirts are also on a ball joint the back skirts have a joint right here that is basically sandwiched in between these parts now we're talking about the legs, the legs are a little bit tricky because these skirts kind of do get in the way when it comes to kicks and all that. So you really have to, you know, whenever you're doing it, you have to move these skirts in a way that it's not gonna conflict with the legs. And you gotta like really just put it at particular angles. If not, they're gonna go flying. But since I have this skirt off, I can go ahead and show you that right here at the hip, this can move. It can also rotate back and forth, can go out. Now this is probably the weirdest joint of all, and I don't know how this goes into effect. I I know like if he's doing these long like stances, like where the legs are really spread out, this is probably where it's going to come in. But check this out: this part of the leg <laughs> moves like this. I I don't get that. I mean, yeah, like I said, if he's doing a, a long stance and you just need to get that extra like movement, then sure. Like I don't know something like that, but. That's kind of, I don't know, man. It's it's pretty trippy. And of course, you're going to have multiple points of articulation right inside here, the knees. The ankle skirt is going to be on a ball joint, but it has very limited range of movement. The foot itself can move backwards and forwards. Eh, halfway decent side to side. I was actually expecting a lot more. And a good toe bend. Now the articulation for the core fighter, this can move pretty much down, up and down. And you're going to have the thrusters, which these can move down and up. And then the wings, the little binders, these can spread out like so. Now I can't actually spin this on a turntable because it, it just keeps falling and I don't want to risk breaking anything uh, because though, even though this thing I feel is really sturdy, the V-Fin could possibly break and yeah, I don't want that to happen. But yeah, this thing is going to have 
a beautiful stance because it's gonna have that extra weight in the feet and it's gonna have that little grip. So if you are gonna do some poses much like this, you're not gonna have a rough time doing that. Now we'll say getting it in the correct pose can be a little bit troublesome at times, uh, but if you just work with it and you kind of like know where the weight all is kind of like balanced within the kit, then you're not going to have really too, uh, too many problems. But the tippy toe poses, I would say, are a little bit more challenging than it was with the uh, stray red frame. Now for the hands, they are going to be swapping out much like the Gundam Age hands or most modern day master grades. So eh, you're not gonna get any more like, you know, hand covers or joints, but you will just get the extra fingers. Now for the hands, it is gonna come with fists, these open expressive fingers, these flat joined together fingers, and these hands is gonna be able to grip the beam sabers, but that's gonna be a little bit later on in the review. Now the stickers I think are just okay. Uh, you get some designs that are gonna be for like the shoulders and the backpack with like the, the wing binders. And you're also gonna have Neo Japan, which is pretty cool. But I think for the most part, I am really just unimpressed by these stickers overall. Now for weapons, I did mention that you get the beam sabers and you're also gonna have two beautiful beam saber effect parts that are also going to be basically like a little katana but it's the base right here, all that beautiful effect. It just adds so much to the quality of this kit. I mean, this is this is what I what I dream of. It's just these beautiful beam effect parts. And of course, you can mount them right here into the fingers and plug it right into the hand. Now since we're done with all of its main weapons, let's just jump right into the hyper mode. Now first off, you're gonna want to take this little tab and you're just gonna push it and you're gonna see the shoulder pads just come up. Now inside is gonna be this little green part. Don't really know the purpose because in the show, to my knowledge, this has never been a thing, but hey, it's a thing in the high res kit. Then you wanna take off the hand and replace it with the shining finger hand which is gonna look really good. Love that clear orange. You're gonna take the gauntlet and we're just gonna rotate it right over the hand. There's gonna be a little articulation both in like the little thumb piece as well as the fingers, but it's not really gonna be anything crazy. Now for these, you're going to want to just take these out and you can pose these however you want. I kind of like them a little bit higher like so. Next thing we're gonna do is open these vents right here to expose those thrusters. Next, we're gonna attach this beautiful ring effect part. It just, it sparkles, it, it looks beautiful. And it's gonna come with these two little attachments for the wings. And we're just gonna plug them in like so. And lastly, we're going to just take this and pop it open. So since this kit is gonna be just like this on my shelf, I decided just to leave it like this for the final thoughts. Well, honestly, let's you know, let's get the cons out of the way. Um probably would say the ankle armor. It pops off frequently whenever I'm posing those ankles. Um also the articulation in the ankles uh just really isn't as impressive uh, as the you know the red frame stray. But Oh, man, that's really about it because the front skirts if you just maneuver around you I honestly don't have uh, any problems with it, but I can't think of much else um, In terms of like what can really be bad about this kit you can argue the price point I personally don't think so. I think I got exactly what I wanted for my money um, Maybe a couple more gimmicks, but I really couldn't imagine what else they could have added to it I mean they gave us Everything that the God Gundam had, beautiful beam sabers, beautiful beam saber uh, effect parts. Um, you got the ring, which was probably the, the, the highlight. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted that effect ring more than anything because I don't have any, um, I didn't know of any God Gundam that had it and I really didn't feel like making my own. Now for the pros, 
pretty much everything man the aesthetics the way it uh, looked the glossy finish um all the accessories that comes with it i mean just everything the posability is fantastic there's not really one thing i can think of that is bad on this kit and that is amazing uh you can even panel line a little bit if you really wanted to personally i don't even think you need to go that far i mean if you really want to sure but you know i barely panel line much of anything just like the legs the, i think the chest the arms not even, i really didn't even do the arms uh the head the body that was pretty much it i left the wings uh well i keep calling it the wings the you know backpack i left that alone uh maybe i might detail that up uh, after this review but for the most part, I don't really need to do anything. This thing is beautiful right out of the box. And that's just, that says a lot. You know, when you don't need to do color corrections, when you don't need to, you know, do any extra panel lining or any extra work, it just looks good. And that's what I am very much happy about is I have a beautiful looking kit that is going to be on my shelf. Um, that's, damn, that's really all i can think of um if y'all if y'all you know have any kind of personal thoughts about this kit please let me know in the comment section below uh, i would love to have a, you know a, an engaging conversation with you because maybe some people might be a little misinformed about this kit but if your opinions are pretty much based on aesthetics and price um i can't really sway you i can't say oh yeah you know it's beefy you know but you should like it because it's beefy no your aesthetics is yours um, but for me, I think it's um, it's way better looking like this than what it is in the original uh, line art, all kind of a little more skinny and all that. I, I like mine a little bit more beefy. But that's pretty much it for me, guys. Uh, if you really want to pick up this kit, definitely go to NewTypeHQ.com. You can use that promo code Krosama and get that 10% off. Um, really, other than that, if, if you really want this kit, I mean, go for it. That's... That's the best advice I can give you. You will not have any regrets. Um, but yeah, that's it for me, guys. Definitely thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. It definitely it definitely helps a lot for the channel and just you know kind of gets it a little bit more out there and notice. But that, that's it for me. So I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.